St. Paul Public Library presents A Tale of Two Libraries. In the words of Charles Dickens, it was the best of times. In the present day, those words could describe the Highland Park and Sunray libraries, where major renovations will soon update both buildings for the 21st century. Although they will be closed for part of 2014, it will be well worth it because, in the words of Kit Hadley, St. Paul Public Library Director, the two libraries will be hugely improved. We are really excited about these two projects at the Sunray and Highland Libraries. Um, both of them need some upgrading just in terms of their being worn, but the most significant thing we're doing in both places is really transforming these spaces based on how differently people are using libraries these days. The Highland Park Library was originally called the Ford Parkway Branch Library, and when it opened in 1954 and the Sunray Library in 1970, Libraries were mostly places for sitting quietly and reading, or checking out books. But as times have changed, libraries have taken on a broader role. We see individuals, families, groups coming to use the library for a big range of learning needs. We have goals as we redo libraries to create better spaces for group and individual learning, create better spaces for community engagement, and you'll really see that at both of these libraries. St. Paul Public Library asked for the community's input and got hundreds of suggestions for ways to improve the two libraries through remodeling. The public then got a chance for a sneak preview. Jennifer Anderson Tuttle of LSE Architects described some of the plans for Highland Park Library. The children's area does have a, a nice view into the courtyard, um, which from the surveys we heard quite a bit about. People would like to be able to use uh, the courtyard, um, but are also concerned about the amount of activity and noise in the children's area. So that's something when we share the design with you that we'd like to show you um, how that can be improved as well. Audience members shared their impressions of the plans. When I look at these pictures, it's like, wow, it just looks really great. I loved the accessibility of the building, a large dedicated children's space um, that doesn't feel like it's a big disruption for other patrons of the library. I love the connectedness between the library and the rec center. I'm very happy to be living in a city that's talking about renovating and improving its libraries rather than closing them down as some other cities are. Public and private funds will pay for the renovations, about $7.9 million for Highland and about $5.5 million for Sunray. The results will be quite visible inside and out. At both places, we're going to be bringing in a lot more uh, daylight and really brighten up the spaces. In both libraries, we're going to be creating more community room space and space for individual and group types of learning. We're going to be increasing the children's area in both libraries. At Sunray, there will be an expanded area for homework center and kind of a learning center for adults. Visitors to Sunray seem pleased with the plans for that library. It's probably going to make this neighborhood look a lot newer and, you know, more lively, especially with the windows that you'd be able to see in here, you know, the more activities that people come in to do. The outdoor reading garden. That'd be really nice. I like the fact that it's like more spacey and then there's like, I think there's like more tables now, so that's pretty nice. It would probably draw more people in, uh, access to more materials and more features. It's nice to see that renovations are happening to suit the needs of everyone here, like expanding the teen section, because I see a lot of young people here. One growing need for library users, young and old, is internet access. But meeting that need may not require more computers. The demand for our Wi-Fi is growing faster than the demand for the computers, which means people have the need for different kinds of seating. They want to have comfortable seating where they can use their own devices. And it means that we're trying to create more space for people and have staff take up less space and do more of their work um, out of sight. The transformation of both libraries will be much more than cosmetic. Still, the handsome new exteriors will definitely get noticed. There will be real um, 
presence at the street and sidewalk level and from the cars going by, the visibility of both libraries, the presence in the neighborhood will be um, hugely improved. While Sunray and Highland are closed during the renovations, the Hayden Heights and Miriam Park libraries will operate with additional evening and Sunday hours. Visit the St. Paul Public Library website at sppl.org for more information. And be sure to watch for the next chapter in A Tale of Two Libraries. Mm -hmm.